discussing the truth about groin strikes in self-defense. If you're new here, I'm Ma'am Cheryl, and I'm here with Master Jonathan. We are the founders of Empowered. A lot of time when people are asked what they would do if they were ever attacked, they would say, oh, I would just kick them in the nuts, or something along that line. Granted, groin strikes can be highly effective. They are not the be-all and end-all of self-defense techniques. Sometimes they are the first strike that may create an escape opportunity, but they might also not. Sometimes striking the groin is your second or third strike. Besides causing pain or damaging your assailant, groin strikes can also be used to enlist a reaction, so you can further defend yourself more easily or create an escape opportunity. Ma'am Cheryl is going to run us through a few examples of when and how she would use groin strength in various self-defense situations. The first one that we're going to go over is if I were or attack or just to grab you from the side or from behind, how would you use the groin strength to defend yourself? Hey, the effective way to use the groin strength, you could ground yourself, which we're always trying to stress, ground yourself, so drop your weight. Close your fist, groin strike, run away. And uh, most likely, from personal experience, your attacker will let go most likely on that first strike, and that gives you a few seconds to escape. The second attack that's very common is somebody trying to, you know, choke you, which is a very aggressive, very controlling attack as an assailant part. Okay, so if someone was trying to choke me, Immediately, my hands are first going to go to my throat because I need that airway cleared at least a little bit. And then I'd probably go with some of my favorite strikes. Knee to the groin, and then I'd probably follow it with an elbow before I run off. Yeah, so she used the groin strike as the first attack or counter attack. Then she went to further attack to create that opportunity to escape. But right, a third attack that would be more of a controlling uh, technique on the sales part is grabbing the double collar and double lapel in order to control your body movement. Okay, so in this situation I'd probably do an initial softening blow, maybe a palm strike to the nose, and then I'd probably grab his shoulders and follow up with that knee and run off. So this is an example of using the voice strike as a secondary strike versus the initial strike. Alright, the last one that we're going to cover, real quick, just give some examples, is a fair hug from behind. How can we use the groin strike in that scenario? Okay, as soon as you feel them grab, you can drop your weight, bump your hips, and then kick that leg up. So I think that's an example of almost using two groin strikes. The first one does kind of look like a groin strike, but it's more in the pelvis groin area, bump bumping, creating that uh, space so that my hands are released and then actually hitting the groin hard with a back kick style kick and then peel it off. Striking the groin is highly effective as a small part of an overall self-defense strategy, just like subscribing to our channel and hitting that subscribe button. Also, just a reminder that you should only use groin strikes for self-defense purposes only. And ladies, remember you have the right to defend yourself and you are worth defending.